time to go on a trip, buddy. Yes, you excited or nervous or altogether unaware? He's a good boy. Hello! It is the 6th of June, Tuesday, and it's time to drive. We've secured the rental car already. Now the final part, which is packing, is complete. Very good. Okay, now time to get on the road for 30 something hours. We are just minutes away from completing our eighth hour on the road today. That's almost a full day's work. Like 65% of it is spent here in Atlanta in traffic. Maybe not actually 65% of it, but it feels like it. <laughs> it is slown to a halt. Time enters a no passing zone here. It's incredible. Every single time we've driven through Atlanta, it's been trafficy. But I suppose that's not necessarily unheard of, considering it's a city. Where there are city, there are people, and where there are people, there are cars, and where there are cars, there are people that don't know how to use them. Either which way, we're almost out of here, and we'll be heading to our second stop of the day. The first time we stopped in South Georgia, which is in Valdosta, went to Moe's for the first time, which was really good. I'd never gone to Moe's before. I got a burrito. It was very similar to Chipotle and Qdoba, albeit a little bit saltier. Serena got a bowl. And I think we both enjoyed it, right? Yeah, oh, mine was really good. Mine was not extra salty at all. Yeah, I think it was the queso that I got. Either which way though, that was lunch. And for dinner, we are going to go to a gas station and it's gonna be an experience. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. You probably already know what I'm talking about, but we're going to get gas station dinner after we deal with the molasses that is Atlanta traffic. It's very clearly more than a gas station. It's a freaking grocery store. You see the size of it? It's massive. <laughs> it's like a Safeway. I've never been to a Bucky's before, but I'm very excited to see. Uh, interestingly enough, they have their like salaries posted on the gas pumps. Pretty competitive. Uh, especially once you get into management there. So, you know, hey, if you're looking for a job, maybe uh, maybe Bucky's is for you. I'm not looking for a job, but I am looking for snacks. Maybe I'll find what I'm looking for. So Bucky's was an adventure, as you just saw there, and we got a few goodies. Gorn is smelling my face pretty heavily. Hi. We got a pulled pork sandwich to try. We've heard good things about these sour power candy belts, so we got those. 
apparently world famous jerky decided on Korean barbecue. Gorn is very interested in the pulled pork sandwich. Uh, we got a little meat and cheese tray for me because I wasn't really feeling like I needed something heavy. It's like a jalapeno cheddar summer sausage, which is kind of cool. And I got some fudge. Fudge! I might be most excited about fudge. Well, let's, try, let's try it. You're a bold faced liar. I'm a what? You're a bold faced liar. So we just ate food. <laughs> um, most recently, we ate the, the sour strip. It's Serena. He straight up told me. It's not that sour. It's not that sour. It's sour. It's not that sour. It's very know. sour. If I you don't like, like sour things. If you like Sour Patch Kids, this is like slightly more sour than Sour Patch Kids. Very oh, good. I very enjoy good. it. I mean, I've got... It's way more sour <laughs> than Sitting sour right next to me. Uh, it's comparable. I don't know. It's not as sour as a Sour Warhead. That is more sour than a Sour Patch Kid. Yeah. I would agree with both those statements. Um, Ooh. <laughs> the pulled pork sandwich is very good though, too. Especially for like a gas station sandwich, though. I guess this is. Yeah. It, it's a gas station at the same time as. A supermarket. It, as it isn't, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. And then the meat tray. The meat cheese enough. tray is pretty good. Um, now now try we're. Some Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue beef jerky. Again, a Bucky specialty. And I quote World famous. Oh my god. That's good. That might be the best flavor beef jerky I've ever had. Gorn's like, where's mine? It's pretty good. This is really good. Like, it's not too sweet. Nor is it too salty, which is oftentimes. Right. Mmm. This is worth it. This is worth the nine dollars for this pack of jerky. <laughs> yeah, that is another thing. Everything was very expensive, but everything I would agree. I, I would say everything Where was. Are you going? was what we expected it to be, right? While the strips may be too sour for Serena, she already kind of knew she wouldn't really care for them, so. I mean, once you get past the sour, they taste delicious. Yeah. But like, I'm just not a sour person, right. so. I don't know. Do but, they make them non-sour? <laughs> uh, I mean, they did have a whole wall of gummies that we didn't really look at beyond the sour section, so maybe. Yeah, we just went for that. Yeah, just because I had heard about this, well, we had heard about it through another vlog, funnily enough. Um, anyways, that's it for Bucky's. We came, we saw, we conquered, and I think it lived up to the hype. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I expected more in terms the of the size of it. Yeah, the bathrooms. The bathrooms were like Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. The bathroom was huge. It was incredible. There was like a circle of sinks and like 1,500 toilets. More toilets than there were gas pumps. It was wild. I never felt so overwhelmed by selection anxiety in my life. But hey, better to have too many bathrooms and toilets than not enough. That's good fudge. Forgot you got the fudge. Well, well hey, peanut butter. it's a good thing I was talking about the bathroom so that you can showcase the <laughs> <some> fudge. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have had this. What kind is it? This one's chocolate peanut butter, but I also got a dark chocolate salted caramel. Dark salted salted caramel. Very good. Can well, try? I'm good. Okay. You're not a sour person. I'm not much of a chocolate or fudge person. Oh god, um, I love fudge. And I've had a lot of sweet stuff today already, so I'm gonna hold off. But now it's time for the next leg of the journey. We are on to Kentucky. It's 7 p.m. right now. We should hit Ooh. our next stop in about four hours. So, hello, Paducah. Let's we'll do it. Our way into Tennessee. But you're the only ten I see. Tennessee, home of whiskey and Elvis Presley, right? Graceland, and country music, and moonshine, a lot of alcohol. I like to drink here. What else is there to do? I don't know. They got the Smoky Mountains. It's where they grow those little the sausages, I think. Um, <laughs> the little Smokies. But yay, Tennessee. We're not going to stop in Tennessee because it's a small state, but we're here. We're saying hi to my aunt as we pass her.
after drove for 16 hours and we're pretty much in Missouri or somewhere. It's dark and it's late and I need to sleep <laughs> because there's only so much that we can do in one day. But we will finish this journey tomorrow.